Hey guys, it's Christine. Welcome back and welcome if this is your first time here. So in today's video, we're going to continue opening up that Goodwill Blue Box from Nashville, Tennessee. And if you didn't see my last video, that features part one of this box and this will be the second half of it. So this is what's left in the box. There's still a lot of things in here, lots of little bits and baubles. So let's go through it and see what's inside. So I'm going to put this down on the floor. Okay guys, so I hope everyone is doing well, taking care of yourselves. Okay, I'm just going to grab a bunch of things out of the box. Okay guys, so let's see what we have here. Wow, so first thing out of the box is this really chunky monkey ring. And it looks like it's glass. And it has a rhinestone in the middle. Really pretty. I don't know if this is... The top feels like it's acrylic. And the bottom could be glass, or maybe this is a type of resin. I'm not sure, but that is a really fun ring. <laughs> okay, so let's take a measurement on this guy. So this measures in at, wow, it's a larger size. So it's about, it's about a nine, nine and a quarter, somewhere between, I think it's about a nine and a quarter. So we have this ring. Pretty nice. And it has these rhinestones actually on the side of it too. And I don't think any are missing. They all seem to be there. But that's a fun ring. Um, there are some little... I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. There's little like scratches in there and throughout but it's really fun ring for sure but we have this ring and that's fun so we have that and next we have black faceted acrylic necklace. And this one's a really long one. This has a lobster clasp. I think it's missing a jump ring right there. And it looks like the lobster clasp is slightly broken. But this is really pretty. That could be an easy fix. You could just put a, another jump ring in here and replace the lobster clasp with this. This will be A dollar. That'll go into craft, actually. Okay. So let's see here. We have this necklace, which looks like it could be. Well, we've got some verdigris going on there throughout. Don't know if this is, could be bone, because you see little specks throughout. I don't think, yeah, I think this might be bone. Not 100% sure. Then we have these sort of I don't know, these sound, feel like plastic beads here. And with this toggle clasp, it's brass. It's on this cord. It's a really long one. 
So this is the top of it, and this is the bottom of it. Um, yeah, so we have this guy. I think because of all of the verdigris that's going on throughout, if anybody wants this, this will be... I don't know. I will have to research what this is further. But if you want this, let me know. Okay, next we have a bracelet. This is cute. It has a little hook here. And it looks like it's silver. And then it's gold tone on this end. Really cute. I like that. I think this one's on the smaller side. It can stretch. So it's on the smaller side. It's cute. Very simple. Don't see a mark on it. Let's take a measurement of this. This measures in at seven inches. We have this. And if anybody wants this, this will be three dollars. It's very cute. Okay, then we have an earring here. And this has some verdigris throughout, so that will be going into craft. Okay, and then we have this bracelet here. And this says, your photo here. It says, oh, it says cheer and hope. So I think this is for breast cancer awareness because we have the pink ribbon. And this is a bracelet, and that's the back of it. You can put your photo of your friend or your whoever's you know that you're praying for in here. And this measures in at seven and a half inches. If anybody wants this, this will be $3. It's really cute. Okay. And then we have a gold tone necklace. Has this really cute, really cute guy. Looks like a lion, perhaps. And the back of this says NRQ. You can see that. NRQ. So we have that, and this is a really long necklace. This is the top of it. This is a lobster clasp, really long, 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 long chain, and this is the bottom of it. We have that lion face. And I'll give you a measurement on this guy. It has a 16 inch drop, so that's 36 inches around wearable length and this has a two and a half inch extender that's really cute cute guy I like him a lot so that's nice next we have a cuff bracelet and this is silver tone and it says Ashley Bridget inside. Copyright. And this is magnetic. So we have that. Okay. Next we have this memory wire bracelet. And it's got these sort of gunmetal black and coppery seed beads. And this portion of it here, the wire is sticking out a little bit, so I think you just need to tuck it back in so it's not that scratchy. Yeah, it definitely needs some help here because the wire is sticking out right there. But that's cute. Um, let's measure this guy. This one's about seven and a quarter, and you could definitely accommodate a larger wrist. If anybody wants this, this will be $2. Okay. We have here a Tiffany looking bracelet. And this is definitely not Tiffany. It's magnetic. I think it has a bit of a rust 
going on there. So I think I'm going to put this into craft. If anybody wants that, that'll be a dollar. Next we have here a very pretty looking, looks like it's faux um, marcasite and a filigree gold tone. And on the bottom it looks like it's some sort of a pearlized acrylic. And this is West Germany. And this is a scarf clip, I believe. That's really pretty. I like that a lot. Okay. Let's see what else is in here. Okay. Next we have this stretchy bracelet, acrylic orange beads. And these are magnetic silver tone. This measures in at seven and a quarter. If anybody wants this, this will be two dollars. Okay, next we have here a velvet, very pretty blue velvet ribbon. And these are definitely acrylic pearls. And I don't know if this could be a choker. Let's take a measurement on this. This measures a total of 20 inches. So I think if you have a small neck, you could tie it around, possibly around your neck. Or here, you know, this is a right, uh, bracelet and tie a, a ribbon here. That might be kind of cute. And there's no mark on this. And if anybody wants this, this will be $3. That's kind of cute. Okay, I forgot about this tangle, guys, so I may need to pause the video and untangle this, but I will do that at the end. As we get lucky, we find some matches. Okay guys, so we have some more oops, items here. Oh, this is a beautiful earring. It is, oops, and it's broken, but this is an easy fix. Um, it has some rhinestones, it has some sort of uh, enameling here, lovely spike, and this could be easily fixed. It just needs to be hooked back on right there. So we have that, hopefully we find a match to that. And we have another scarf clip, and this is acrylic, or is it glass? Let's see. That is acrylic. And it's orange, it's faceted, it's pretty gold tone. The back has a little bit of, I don't know if that's glue, that's cute. So we have that. Let's see what we have here. We have... Fun earring. It's a hoop. Gold tone. This is a pretty interesting bead. It's acrylic and then it has a sort of an AB coating on top of these um, stud looking protrusions. And we have these, these are plastic gold tone beads. Cute. It's fun. We find a match to that. Then we have these bangles here. They're all interlocking, intertwined, and they all have some sort of a design on them. That's really nice. And I wish I could find a bracelet like this that could fit my lower arm. But what I used to do, or when I wore bangles a lot, I would push them up, up like so and wear them. And I thought that was like a, a cool, cool look. So that's really nice. I really like these a lot. And these are not precious metals. And these measure in at about seven and a quarter. Really nice set. If anybody wants this, this will be... I like that. Four dollars. That's nice. Okay, we have this earring, it's brass, really cute, has sort of a peacock feather look to it, 
and it's in this brassy color. Very nice. And there's only one of him, so let's hope for a match. We have a little earring here. Very pretty. Enameling with some sparkles. There is no mark on this guy, but it is a clip-on. Cute. Okay, we have this necklace. Lobster clasp. There is no mark, but it's a rhinestone necklace. And it's missing a rhinestone right there. Unfortunately. And right there, and right there. It's really cute. Teeny tiny rhinestones would be great for harvesting rhinestones. So if anybody wants this, this will be a dollar. It's going into craft. Let's see, next we have this bracelet. It has a beautiful heart. And it has a little charm here that says, Friends are angels. That's so true. It's so true. So yeah. let's get a measurement on him. He is about seven and a quarter inches. Really cute, I really like this a lot, and I will let this go for three dollars. Okay, next we have a pendant here. It's really worn on the back, but it's, wow, that's a stunner. And you can see the wear throughout in the silver tone and on the top of this pendant. That's really fun. Look at that, look how sparkly that is. Wow. Wow, I just love that. Let's see if this is glass. And this is glass. Yeah, that's just gorgeous. And yeah, it does have some wear. That is stunning. So we have that. Then we have this breast cancer awareness ribbon, beautiful gold flower, and this is by Avon. Very beautiful. If anybody wants this, this will be $4. Okay, then we have this pink ribbon with this pearl, and it's unmarked. This will go into craft for a dollar. Okay guys, so up. I've decided to give up on untangling this because I tried it the first time and I had no luck and I'm not having much luck again this time. So I see that there's like a little ball here with a lava stone in there, so you, that looks cool. And then I saw that there's a ribbon necklace here on some cord with this beautiful glass butterfly. And then we have this pearl necklace with these gunmetal chains, which is part of the problem that's everything is stuck and tangled up here. And then we have this other necklace, which has these leaves and these turquoise colored leaves. And I think that's a charming Charlie. So if anybody wants this whole tangle, this will be, oops, this will be, $4. That could be yours. Okay, next we have this bracelet. And it's very stretchy. It's rose gold and it has these little rhinestones on it. Very cute. It measures in at about seven and a quarter. You could definitely stretch out. If anybody wants this, this will be $2. And we have this bracelet that has these pearls. I don't know if these are real or not, but there's the hole. And this looks like it's wire wrapped with um, some type of a metal. It does have some verdigris on it, so if anybody wants this, this will be a dollar. Then we have this bracelet here. Really interesting carving on the findings. And these are brass colored. There is no mark on this. And I don't think this is sterling. I'm just gonna scratch here. And scratch here. Now it looks a little coppery to me. So we have this beautiful bracelet. And the 
This one measures in at about 8 inches. If anybody wants this, this will be $2. There's some of the silver coming off on some of the pieces here. Okay, guys, let's keep going. So I think what's left is just the bits and bobbles. So I'm just going to take them all out here show you what we have left in this box. A lot of bits and bobs. Bits and bobs. But you never know what you're going to find, which can be very fun with these boxes. some goodies in here. And not a bunch of stray items. There's more guys. Here we go. And there's more. what's in the box. So I'm going to move these all off to the side. Okay guys, let's see what we have here. First thing we have here, this lovely pin. Very really beautiful. I don't know if that's a real stone or not. It's really tiny. Let's take Presidium. It's moving a little bit towards glass, but maybe it's some type of a ceramic or something. That's really lovely. I don't know. It just looks gorgeous. I think you could probably wear this as a pendant to give it chain through here or through these two loops. I think that would look nice. It's very nice. So we have that. Then we have this ring here, and it's a filigree butterfly with this acrylic giant gem. And a little pearl, looks like a little angel actually. I thought it was a butterfly, but it is, um, the wings are shaped like butterfly wings. But it is a pin. And let's see, that's the back of it. There is some gold tone moss on the back of the pin. And this little wing here is bent slightly. She's cute. Very cute angel wing pin. If anybody wants that, that will be five dollars. That's really cute. Like that a lot. Next we have an earring here. This is acrylic. And then we have silver tone. And that's cute. Next we have a hoop gold tone. One of those. Then we have a really pretty spiral circle button earring. There is some verdigris on here, or some green gunk and gunk in general, so that needs to be cleaned up. But we only have one of them, so hopefully we'll find a match. We have a backing to an earring. Then we have this earring, silver tone. These beads are acrylic. I think, or maybe they are stone. They feel a little cold, actually. Uh, yeah, this is moving towards... Chrysophase, Emerald, and Nephrite. So this is like a pinkish-red bead. So it's definitely... Oops. 
Sorry guys, so many things on the table right now. Definitely something. Next we have this beautiful earring. And it's a coin. And we have a pearl here. There is some gold ton loss. And this is not marked. We have that earring. And we have another gold tone hoop braided this time. We have this hoop. This looks like painted. Really pretty autumnal colors. Very 80s. We have that. Then we have this earring with this glass with some animal print. And it says some gunk on it. It's brass on the back. Cute button earring. Okay, let's see what else we have. We have this earring, which feels cold to the touch. Let's see if this is citrine or not. Let's bring you in. Okay. This is coming in at Chrysophase, Emerald, and Nephrite. I think this is a citrine, or I don't know, but it looks like that. And let's see if this test is sterling, because this kind of looks like sterling to me. Even though I don't see a mark on it, I think this might be sterling. Hopefully we find a match to it, if it is. Let's see. That is bright blue. So, that is indeed a sterling earring with beautiful gem, semi-precious stone. So hopefully we found a match, but so far no match. Oh, we found a match, guys. These are awesome. Really beautiful earrings. Okay, I'm so happy about that. And we have one back here, and this is definitely marked 925 on the back here. So we have these guys. These are gorgeous, lovely earrings. Love them. So yay, we found a match. So happy. Okay, so there's hope for the others. So we have a pearl earring here. Really long ear wire, which is really cool so it doesn't fall out, but the pearl's all scratched up. So that will probably go into craft. There's a really pretty heart, puffy heart earring. And it looks like it's gold tone. But maybe the gold wash is coming off. It's pretty. Let's see if I match to that. Then we have this elephant earring. It has rhinestones encrusted in its body and a black eye. I think it's just silver tone. And he is. He's cute. Let's see if I match to him. We have a leopard print acrylic earring. Cute. Next we have this brassy tone earring with these acrylic beads. Really cute. It's not marked. Okay, we have this little angel pin. And he's magnetic. Really cute. We have a bar finding here. We have a American flag enamel pin. And the pin still works. If anybody wants him, he will be two dollars. Very beautiful. Put him over there. Then we have this pin here. It's a butterfly. This butterfly looks painted. And and this looks like it's by Baloo. A lot of these little pins are very pretty. Cute little, dra I think it's a dragonfly actually. Did I say butterfly? It's a dragonfly. 
Very nice. Then we have this earring with the spider and the cobweb and a little rhinestone. Gold tone. We have one of those. And let's see. Then we have this earring. And it is rhinestone. It's missing a rhinestone right there. It's a clip on unmarked. That will wind up in craft. Very beautiful though. We have a earring here. It is clip on. It's a really pretty is that a Rivoli? And it's not marked. One of those. We have these hoop earrings. They're very shiny. Beautiful etching on them. Those are really cute. It's very lightweight. I might keep these if nobody wants them. Um, these will be... These are really nice. Um, yeah, I like lightweight hoop earrings. Definitely magnetic. If anybody wants these, these will be... Six dollars. Next we have this pin. Really pretty. Definitely needs a wipe down. But it's black and very faceted and quite lovely. I think. It's not registering. It's moving slightly, so I think it could be glass, I'm not sure, but that's beautiful. If anybody wants this, this will be $5. Pretty. Then we have this heart, beautiful red rhinestones, perfect for Valentine's Day actually. And this is by Avon. Okay, very nice. With that. Very cool. We have this pin, which is unmarked. Does need to be wiped down. And this is really cute, very 70s looking vintage plastic with the print on it. Very cute. If anybody wants this, this will be $5. Okay, we've got a match to that earring and this pink stone. It's a pink reddish stone. Really pretty. I don't think these, did I test these? Yeah, I don't think that's sterling. We have a match to those. We have a second match, so that is really cool. Okay. We have this earring, really dramatic. Acrylic clip-on earring. No mark on that. Silver tone. Very fun. Let's see if I match to that. We have this guy. Really fun too. Dramatic as well. And this is a clip-on. Has some gunk there. It's really cool. Then we have this cross. This is sterling. This may be sterling. Let's see if we can test it. That is not sterling. You can see the copper coming through. We have that. And then we have this gold tone hoop. It's cute. This pin, circle pin, with this little leaf here. This guy's not marked. Very cool pin. If anybody wants him, he'll be five dollars. We'll make him four. That's so it's cool. We have this white earring, and there's no mark on him. But looks really cool. 
Then we have this pendant here, silver tone, and it says artistry. And we have all these encrusted rhinestones. Really neat. It's not automatic, but I don't think this is sterling. We have that. Okay, let's keep going. We have a ring here. It's a very lightweight ring. Believe it or not, the ring is marked 925 right there and it is a wavy ring it's really cool let's get a measurement on him he is about a seven and a half and let's just test him to see if he is sterling and i think he is it's a cool ring This one is, hmm, maybe not sterling. Let's test him again. We have a good scratch here. Then we will take our 18K solution again, like Kristen D says, and test this. Let's see if it turns bright blue. If it does, then it is sterling silver. And it does not. So I don't think this is sterling. I think it's a faker, but it's still cute. And if anybody wants him, he will be $4 for being a faker. Okay, we have this cross pendant. It's not marked. Very beautiful. Then we have this brassy triangle earring. And then we have a kidney, kidney shaped ear hook here. And I'm not sure what this is. If this is some type of a coral or clay. I don't think this is a stone. Hmm, it's going up past glass. So I wonder what that could be. I wonder if this is sterling. It kind of looks like sterling to me. So we'll take a scratch of the kidney ear wire and one of these. And this guy is definitely sterling. You can see that it is bright blue. So we have some real sterling here. And hopefully we find a match to this guy. Really cute earring. Okay, next we have this lighthouse. And it's a striped lighthouse. It's a pin. If anybody wants him, he will be three dollars. It's cute. And we have this gold earring. And I definitely don't think it's a gold tone. I mean, I don't think it's real gold. It's not. And we have a pink earring here, which is broken. That will be going into craft. Then we have an infinity loop and it looks like it probably is a anklet or a bracelet and the lobster clasp hooks onto the actual infinity pendant here and that is not sterling let's get a measurement on him it's pretty wide i think he's bigger he's probably 11 and a quarter if anybody wants this, this will be two dollars. I mean, there. Are, I think there is a little bit wear to the chain. So we have that. 
we have this earring, which is beautiful rhinestones with different colors in it. Really pretty. This is a clip on. We have him. Then we have this guy, which is a an enhancer or a shortener. And it's so funny, I bought one off of Amazon and I had to return it because this little latch is not latching on. It kept popping off. This looks like a good one. This is silver tone, um, gold tone. And it's so funny. When you're looking for something, sometimes you find it. And so I'm gonna keep this one, guys. So that's really cool. Okay, next week. Then we have very pretty. This is glass earring, purple. It's faceted. Um, the foil on the back here is come off, but it's still beautiful. This is definitely, it's moving. So I think this is glass. It's beautiful. It's got a couple of scratches, but let's see if we can match. We have here a gold tone earring. I don't think this is. I think that's just plated. Then we have a ring here. And this is not marked. It feels very lightweight. It's definitely magnetic. I don't think these are anything. Oops, there's the, sorry about that. Sorry guys. Yeah, these are not even registering. That's glass, but it's a cute little ring. It's an eight. All the stones are there. It's not sterling. If anybody wants this ring, it'll be two dollars. It's cute. Okay, then we have this little gold tone finding. We have a earring here, enameled. Okay. And we have a, feels like resin earring. This says Avon. You can see that. It says Avon right there. So you have to look on the back of these ear studs um, backs because sometimes they tell you what the actual earring is. So we have this little guy, he needs to be cleaned for sure. Then we have this earring, gold tone, and then we have these painted wooden balls. Really cute colors. Hopefully find a match to that one. Wow, look at this. And we have this earring, which I think we saw earlier, but it is not in the best of shape. And we have this really cute. Um, this feels like some sort of a resin or epoxy on top of a flower picture. And then we have the back like so. Really nice pin. You see that? If anybody wants this, this will be four dollars. It's cute. Okay, then we have this is a cute enamel butterfly, gold tone. There's no mark on it. If anybody wants him, he'll be two dollars. Flower, which came off of something. We have a this is enamel on metal earring. We have a purple earring here. This is a clip-on. And these are acrylic beads. Then we have a star charm, gunmetal. We have a pin here, and I think that's the Premier Designs logo. And this is a 
silver tone and gold. I don't know what this is. Bundle of straw. <laughs> not really sure. Um, I'm pretty sure this is not. Yeah, it's magnetic. So we have that. Okay. We have a slider bracelet. This is pretty cool. Um, this is pretty cool. This has a fold over clasp. And this slider bracelet seems to be magnetic. We have the moon here and this faux marcasite. And then we have a little chief here guy. And then we have a cowboy hat, cowboy boot. Uh, what is this? The saddle? Um, horseshoe? And then it repeats. That's pretty cool. Pretty neat bracelet. And this measures about six and three quarters. I'd say maybe about a seven. So we have this guy. And he's in good condition. Let me just make sure the rhinestones are there. Can you see? Sometimes you guys see much better than I do. So look out for that. And so I think all the rhinestones are there. So if anybody wants this, this will be six dollars. That's pretty cool. Okay, we have this earring. Really cute. Um, gold and coppery colored. Very 80s, 70s look to it. And it does have some wear to it. It needs to be polished up. Let's see what we find. Oh, we have a match to that Avon earring. Um, let's see if I can... Ah, here we go. And it has a bonus here. Ooh. Lovely. Simply lovely. And these little guys are like frosted. I don't think they're glass. They don't feel cold to the touch, but they're some sort of a resin. It sort of has like an AB type coating. They're really pretty little dangly earrings. But they do need to be cleaned up. So, oops, and this one's bent. So, but I think you can bend that right back up quite easily. I don't know if these are Avon, but one of the backs says that it is. So I will, I don't know, but these are cute. If anybody wants these, these will be $3. They're very cute. Okay. Then we have a ring here with this really pretty, I think that's glass, it has a flower inside. Wire wrapped. Let's see if this is sterling. It looks like it could be handmade. I used to make rings like this. Let's see if it is. And it is sterling. So we have a sterling ring here. And I think this is probably most likely handmade. It's very beautiful. Ooh, and it's my size. I think this is a size five. Very cute. Let's measure this. Yep, it's a size five. So if anybody wants this guy, let's do him for $8. It's really cute. Okay, we have this earring here. It's a clip-on. There is no mark. Very pretty filigree. Okay. Almost there, guys. We have a filigree silver tone earring here. We have a pearl drop. And this bowl looks lopsided. Okay. Then we have, oh, this is cute. That's really cute. So it's this little artist palette and the palette's made of a mother of pearl and let's see if this pin closes that's the back of him he's not marked 
But he's gorgeous. That's so cute. If you're an artist or if you know of an artist in your life, this is a great gift to give somebody. Really cute little artist pen. And he's tiny. He is about an inch. So if anybody wants him, I will let him go for seven dollars. I just love him. Okay, we have a, ooh, this is a cute earring, pearl. There's no mark on this. We have this earring clip-on with these beads. And like that. We have a, is this Charlie Wonka of the Chocolate Factory? It's definitely Johnny Depp, right? I'm just not sure what movie, and it says Disney. So, I don't know who he is, but he's Johnny Depp. We have this ring. And this is about a seven, a little bit over a seven, probably seven and a quarter. If anybody wants him, he will be $2. Silver tone earring, poop earring, sorry. And then we have and black enamel earring, little tiny arrow earring. We have a bow earring, silver tone. Okay, we have a back of an earring. Okay, we have a little bow. This is cute, a little mesh bow. It looks to be rose gold. We have this clip-on earring. Oops, the backing just broke off a little bit. Silver tone. It's magnetic. Cute. Then we have this earring. Really pretty. It's acrylic. We have this guy, which I think we saw this other finding here. So maybe this is part of a chain or necklace. It's kind of cool. These are both this is wood, and I think this is wood as well, and it's, it's painted with a me metallic paint. See some of the bubbles of the paint there. So this could definitely be made into a necklace. Just add some chains here. Let's see. If anybody wants this, this will be a dollar. That'll go into craft. Okay, we have this earring. It looks like a cat's eye. We have this earring. This looks like some sort of a resin. It's cute, blue, sparkly. We have a glass bead. We have a silver earring. It's very dirty on the back. We have this filigree guy that's missing something. Then we have the silver tone earring, very pretty, very dirty. We have this nice back here. We have this earring. I wonder if this is a stone. And it's registering as glass. Okay. We have this plastic earring. Oh, this is a cute earring, rhinestone. That's really fun and sparkly. And one of these. We have a little leaf guy. We have a hoop. We have a silver, I think this is a toe ring. It says it's 925 right there. So let's test it. I think that is because it looks like it's rubbing silver. Let's see. 
and it is bright blue. So that is sterling. So if anybody wants him, he will be seven dollars, and you can wear it like that too. Okay. So we have that, and then we have a silver earring here. And this says, this says 925. Let's see. It says 925 something. But it says 925. I definitely think it is sterling. We only have one of them, guys. Yeah, I definitely think that's sterling, but I'm not going to test this until I find the other one. It's much left to go. Oh, we have so many single earrings. Okay, we have a lone acrylic bead, a lone cab. We have this earring, gold tone, clip-on. It's cute. We have this earring, black enamel, and this says Monet. So hopefully we find that. We have this earring, sort of a disco ball, rhinestone here, clip on. Is this sterling? Kind of looks like it could be. No, it's not. And we have this earring. This looks like an, a resin. Maple leaf with an acorn. That's really cute and clever. We have this hoop earring, gold and silver. We have this acrylic earring. We have this little dangle here. And this says Napier on the post. Napier. So that's a nice earring. Then we have this earring. That's really pretty. And these look like glass beads and they have sort of an abstract paint, Jackson Pollock look to them. Really cute. And I wonder if this is sterling. Hmm. Well, this is definitely not, but I wonder if the top is. know if it is. I don't think so. Okay, we have this gorgeous, gorgeous earring. These rhinestones studded all over. That's beautiful. But unfortunately, I don't think we have a match because we only have a few more items. And I don't see anything. Here's our heart, which I think is broken. And it's an earring. Maybe it's supposed to be like that. I'm not sure. We have one of those. Then we have this rhinestone stud earring. It's very dirty. Okay. We have this pink faux pearl. This is really pretty. It's not marked. Really gorgeous sparkly rhinestones, enamel. Then we have this, which has a horseshoe on it. It has a screw here. So I'm not sure what this is, but we have that. And we have enameled earring here. We have this really heavy encrusted earring here. Then we have this pin, which has these flowers on them porcelain flowers, and I thought we saw a little flower here, so I don't know if this broke off of somewhere, but it doesn't look like it did, but um, this looks like 1928, I don't see where it could have come off from, but we have this. If anybody wants him, he will be three dollars. 
Then we have this earring, which is fabric plaid covered. We have this little earring, which looks like an arrowhead, and looks like faux marcasite on rhinestones. We have one of those. Then we have this button earring. And then we have this hoop earring. And we have this earring here. This is a pretty earring. This one's not marked. And we have this cute little cherry earring. That's really cute. And we have this little clip-on earring, which I think might be broken. We have a star rhinestone earring. We have this little earring here. Gold tone. Very pretty. We have this pretty earring here, rhinestones. Oh, we have a match to that earring. It's pretty. There's some copper coming through on them, though. But those are still quite cute. If anybody wants these, these will be a dollar. Then we have this earring. That's just a plastic ball. Then we have a starfish earring. We have here a, this could have been a pendant or an earring. And this looks like, could be reconstituted. Or um, turquoise or dyed halite, not sure. But that's pretty. You can make a pendant out of it, or a... Yeah, you can make a necklace out of this. Just add a chain. If anybody wants this, we'll do two dollars on him. And then, let's see what these last pieces are. We have a little earring here. And then, that's really pretty. But unfortunately, no match. Gorgeous clip-on rhinestone earring. Oh, we have a red dress pin. If anybody wants that, that'll be a dollar. And this purple earring, white earring. And what is this? This is, I believe, a silver tone. Don't believe this to be sterling. No, it is not. All right, guys, so that was it. Wow, so that was a lot of single earrings. So if anybody wants all of these single earrings, I will let that go for $8 if anybody wants it. Guys, let me know if you have any favorites in this part two of the Nashville Goodwill Blue Box. And if you did, please leave your comments down below. I always welcome and look forward to what your thoughts are on these boxes. And um, please like, comment, and subscribe. And most of all, guys, thanks for watching. And be well.